Hello guys, it is of course me, Trollface the Man, and welcome back to another Patreon early release video. This is of course a series of videos I release five days early to my Patreons versus their public release. So today I'm going to be modding a PSU from a PlayStation 3 in order to be a 12 volt power supply. If you look on here, it has a 100 volt through 240 volt input and a 12 volt 32 amp or 5 volt 3 amp output for the different rails, which 12 volts times 32 amps is 300, excuse me, 384 watts. So this is like a 350 watt 12 volt power supply. So 150 watt to 200 watt power supply online from eBay cost about ooh, $30. And it's going to be from China. And if I'm going to have a power supply that's going to be potentially running by itself with no one around, I am not going to trust some possibly extremely janky and dangerous power supply from China to be running at my house with nobody around because I do not want my house to burn down at some point. Fairly, fairly beefy capacitors in here, uh, 100 microfarad, 420 volts DC. That'd be a nice, good shock if you were to, by chance, hit that. It's a pretty nice power supply, and like I said, I trust this power supply, especially how much leeway I have with 384 watts when I only need about 100, a lot more than I trust a 100 or 200 watt power supply from eBay that will be from China, and like I said, potentially burn down my house if I leave it running for too long. So. I take this a hundred times over. Basically, uh, the, the modification for this is extremely simple. You have the live and neutral, or the neutral and live plugs right here. It actually has this as part of the back of the PS3. You can just plug it in and use um, your standard, uh, was I don't even know what that would be considered, just a, it's like a computer uh, plug. I don't know actually specifically what it's called, which I really should because I work on computers. But uh, you have your grounding wire, you attach that. The issue is though, is if I actually plug this in, let me do that real quick. This is if I flip this around and I prod its holes, ooh, nothing. Not a zip zelch. And that is because apparently these power supplies, like many, I've modified computer power supplies like this before, and what almost always occurs is there is a uh, detection method, in which case the power supply is designed to detect that it's plugged into a motherboard to work properly. If it does not have that detection because it's not plugged in, then it simply will do not a zip zelch because, well, for safety, I'm sure. The good news is, is that the fix for this is extremely, extremely simple. So I'm not actually sure what order it goes, if it's from left to right, but I was able to find the pinouts, or the, um, the specific uses for this wire right here, which is the one that's supposed to plug into the motherboard uh, online. The first one is supposed to be the power switch detector, which needs at least 3.3 volts, or I assume probably 3.3 volts to work properly and actually allow the power supply to kick on. The second and third one are the grounds and the fourth and fifth ones are plus five volts. Well, hmm. the ideal thing would be for me to have uh, one of these plus five volts connect directly to the 3.3 and put out exactly 3.3 volts. But I think from other videos I've seen online, one of which was by Great Scott, which uh, he does a modification like this and he does a brilliant job on it. He actually does a proper voltage divider and everything. But regardless, I think that if I cut these right here and I just attach the one of the five volts to the power detector, even though if it's higher than the 3.3 volts, I think it will still work for uh, causing, tricking this power supply into thinking that it's plugged in. So that's actually exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so I actually ended up testing it uh, with my multimeter, and I found out the proper order is if you're facing it like this, is five, four, three, two, one. So these two are the plus five volts, 
These two are ground and this one is the uh, 3.3 detection uh, right here. So I'm just going to twist these two 5 volts together and these are just the grounds. I don't know if they're separate, more than likely they're just bridged together, but just to be sure I am soldering those together too. It's done there. All right, there we go. I can do a permanent one afterwards, but I am just going to jump these together with this wire for right now and see if it actually works. Oop. If it would actually bite onto it. Okay, so it is on there. Now if I take this power, plug it in here, switch it on, what we should hopefully get is 12 volts coming through uh, these two. I heard banana clips work very well, those two outputs there. Heard banana clips fit perfectly in there. Look at that, 12.06. And once again, this isn't some low quality crap power supply that you're going to be getting off of eBay from China. This is Sony company, Entertainment Incorporated, very high, you know, quality. I mean, it wasn't a PS3. And when these things first came out, the PS3s were like $600. And they were pretty amazing machines for the time. And then, like I said, if I touch this, this right here and this right here, we can see that I also have a secondary 5 volt, uh, 3 amp power supply off of these two wires here, too. So that is perfect. The only other thing that I could think of to do with this is it's not probably necessary in my case, seeing as I'm only going to be using um, 100 watts out of the almost 400 watts this power supply is able to put out. But another thing I could do is if I was going to be using closer like 300 watts or 400 watts is I would take a fan, like a 12 volt computer fan, probably drill some extra holes, take this cover off first, drill some extra holes in here, glue it or screw it down, and just hook up the 12 volt fan directly into the 12 volt power supply and have that running blowing air or sucking air through there to keep it cool. All right, with a little bit of trial and error, I am happy to say that I have created a voltage divider that is just about perfect for uh, this specific power supply. So I plug this in, turn it on, and you can see I, I have the schematic right here. So between the five volts and the sensor, a 3.3 sensor, I have a 4.7K resistor. And from the sensor to the ground, I have a 20K uh, resistor. Now if I end up turning this over to my voltage setting and I touch right here on the sensor and I touch the ground, which I guess I can just touch right here, you can see that it is, hmm? now you can see that it is 3.25 volts, which is good enough for me and it apparently is good enough to work because if you can hear, you can hear click on and off when I am uh, flipping the switch on and off. And this should both limit the amount of current going through there and actually supply a amount of voltage that is proper for this specific power supply uh, sensor. Now if I stick this in here, if I prod these holes, we are getting 12 volts. This is perfect, exactly what I need. And now, I guess the only thing left to do is to use this to actually construct my lights. I think that it will work most wonderfully and it is high quality. I have a UV LED light right here that is 12 volts. And why, why, why not test it out, right? So I just shoved a piece of metal in there because what the hey? Let's see. Ah, yes, beautiful. That's actually because the wire is wiggling around, not because of the power supply. So this is a uh, 12 volt, uh, 10 watt UV LED, and it is K 
kicking off wonderfully, and this is not even using 1 40th of the capacity of this power supply. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to my Patreons who have supported me thus far, and I hope you guys like the new credit system where I'm actually giving uh, Patreons uh, their own credit screen at the end of videos. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that, and I ask that if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe if you haven't already, and please consider supporting this channel if you are not already and thank you for everyone that already is um, I hope you guys enjoy this found it useful like I said I probably will do some modifications maybe do a quick update video when I have everything set up like the actual lights and everything and um, yeah thank you guys very much for watching and bye